very ill and uh, the last couple of nights have been better but um, my daughter has gone to sleep kind of on the late side including tonight and I haven't had the energy to um, to do this uh, Uh, a bunch of crap's been going on. Um, I don't know how much I really have to say. I mean, there's stuff to talk about, but I don't know how vlog-worthy they are or entertaining. Um, sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Uh, medical things. Ugh. I guess I could talk about my meds. I talked about that before. Um, March 17th, my doctor started me on Wellbutrin, generic Wellbutrin, 100 milligrams. And then a week later, on the 24th, she added another 100 milligrams. So that's what I've been on, 200 milligrams. Um, and I feel like I've had a few bursts of irritability um, in the past couple of weeks and I had a bit of a freak out this week on Tuesday um, after a very horrible, horribly stressful day um, but still um, and It's only 10 o'clock here, but it's been a long day. Every day is a long day. So, um, yesterday, even though I'm yawning like crazy, when I was just laying down with Poppy to get her to sleep, um, typically I would just drift off with her. Um, I felt like I had electricity running through my body and my mind was racing. And, um, I had that feeling last night and meanwhile trazodone hasn't been working like it just I have to talk to my doctor about that I don't know if it's increased increase the dosage or what but it's just like not doing anything so I haven't taken it in a few days um, I thought about taking it last night but I didn't because I thought maybe since I haven't taken it in a few days maybe it would, it would be revved back up for me work again um, I, I barely slept last night. Got up this morning um, and felt as if I had slept. I didn't feel, I felt like alert and felt super alert all day and did um, some laundry, cleaned the kitchen um, in addition to, well I did those chores while um, the little boy that we take care of was on his nap time. My daughter was watching Peppa Pig on the computer. Um, his nap time, I like when she like does computer time. It's like my break time for them. I must say, I don't really feel like I need a break time from her when it's just me and her, like on the weekends. Or I've really come to appreciate her um, and how easy it is to be with her uh, after having him since January. Um, anyway, things I used to think were like challenging, I realized they're not challenging. And so it's kind of enhanced my relationship with her. But the two of them together are kind of explosively energetic and it's exhausting. Um, it's really, really exhausting. I am not cut out for childcare as a job. And I don't like having the kid rip apart my house. And I'm not bonding with him, really. Um, it's like a tolerating situation, tolerating him. I have compassion for him as a human being. But 
I don't feel connection. And so it's really hard. So anyway, anyway, I need that break time. Despite my ambivalence about my daughter watching crap on the computer. So, um, I, I mean, I've been really depressed for months now, like, in ways, like, so that, okay, so for me to zip around and do some laundry, do the whole load, wash, dry, fold, put away, like, all the steps, and to clean up the kitchen, um, is a big deal. So I'm like, okay, love you, Trin, you're working. But it feels a little druggy and speedy. And I go hours without eating. I def I am still eating. It's not like I'm not being anorexic, but there's an, there's some appetite suppressing going on. And that's a little exciting, I guess. But um, um, yeah. This the the racing the, the zippy racy feeling in bed at night is is weird. So um, and you know. my mind feels more blank. I think I feel a little less creative. I think I feel a little less mental. Even though I have a racing mind, but I don't know. I have more anxiety. Anxiety is like my number one problem in life. And this thing is making me edgy. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. Sorry, this is so lame. Um, take care of you all. I hope you're here from Columbia University soon.